Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. <laughs> Bolus is here as well. And I thought it would be super fun to make a video on how I'm packing for my ski trip. I'm going in a few days actually. It's now Wednesday and I'm going on Saturday. So I do have plenty of time, but I thought it would be fun to just pack up front so that I don't need to be stressed out. I also want to do something in the evening with my friends and tomorrow evening as well. Better to be prepared than just being very chaotic. I already did make a list on Notion. I will link it below for you guys. You guys can also use that. I also made a Pinterest board of all the essentials that you need. And I also made like an inspiration board on pictures, maybe that's also fun for you guys. Okay, so I don't know which bag I'm going to take with me. I'm going to try this bag first and then maybe it's too small and then I will just take another bag. I have this bag, but uh, I think it's big enough. We'll see. So like wintry clothes, they do tend to fill up your bag very quickly. This is the helmet that I have. It's actually from Decathlon. This is my helmet. I got it for Christmas, which is very sweet. This is also the goggles. <laughs> I look all ready to go. Definitely one of the things that you need is a helmet. But of course, if this is your first time skiing, honestly, for me, it's also like the first time in a while. Like I was 12 years old the last time that I went skiing outdoors in the mountain. You really don't need to buy a helmet, you can just uh, rent it. Also, Bolus came here by himself, but he will probably will be annoyed and he will want to go downstairs. He's also... <laughs> well, I think he wants to stay here, we'll see. I also have my iPad. Also, this is my vision board. It's just my iPad background because then I'm kind of reminded of it. So I will just take my list. I made one on Notion and I will link it for you guys. So that way you can also use it and check everything. For hats, I have a few options. This is the first one, a pink one. I think this will match my like scarf really great. I will show you guys. This is like really great uh, when you're skiing or snowboarding and like your lips can get like really cold. A lot of wind can come here and then you can just ski like this. Or you can also put it like over your head as well. I think this will match my head really good. I was thinking about this hat, then I also oh, look really cute with this scarf maybe. I know it's like different shades of pink, but yeah, I think this, this can work definitely. So I have like pink option, a blue beanie as well. This is my blue beanie. This is one I definitely wear more often. I really like the color of it. I feel like it complements my eyes and I also have a blue scarf. This is definitely where you're not skiing. I don't think this is like very handy to wear when you're skiing because there can come a lot of snow in it. It's definitely just to be outside or maybe when you like zip up your jacket, you can like wear your uh, scarf underneath it. Also for fun, of course this is fake fur. I also bought these. I think this is so adorable and it's like all fluffy. I definitely have seen a lot of Pinterest pictures with this hat on. It's just like more of an accessory, not really like something useful, but you know, it's so cute. Situation right now on my bed. I'm just taking everything out right now. Mom also got me like these cubes. I think you've probably already saw these like on, on TikTok or maybe on Instagram. Like these packing cubes. I've never packed my stuff in it, so we'll see how that goes. I actually got a few of them, so we'll try this out later. I'm going for seven days, but I'm only going to ski for five days. I think I'm going to prep one for every day, but since I'm going to like wear a thermocol, it's like t-shirt underneath it, I won't really sweat into my sweater, so I don't think it will be a problem if I will wear it a second time. So I have this like very orangey bright sweater. I feel like since I'm going to wear a black pants with these, it won't be like too much. It's still fun to wear a bit of color. I have a red turtleneck. I have a white one as well. Then I also have this one. This is like kind of to put over it because I also don't know how cold or warm I, I'm going to get. Maybe the orange sweater will be too warm. I don't know it yet. So that's why I'm taking like different pieces in case. 
I also have like this sweater to put over my thermocol t-shirt for my under layer this is what i was saying with like thermocol i hope that you understand what i mean it's like that you stay warm and your body temperature remains the same that you won't be cold and i have two other ones but they are now in the wash machine i need to pack that later but this is for reference so that you guys can see it i actually bought this in the kids section <laughs> it still fit me so i thought you know why not it was cheaper i have a few ski pants so i I think I'm going to take two. I have three. I have like two black ones. Then this one is more of like closer to your body. So I do think I'm going to take this one. I think it will look very flattering. And then I also have a wider pants, like these pink ones. I will um, try it on for you guys in a minute so that you can see it better. And as you can see, they're a bit more wider so they're not like really tight so if this is the look that you want to go for link it below for you guys i don't know if they still sell it it's from the firm o'neill and yeah i think it's really cute and these are also the black pants as you can see they're a little bit more narrowed and less wide for my ski jacket i have this red one i'm honestly obsessed with the color i think the only like sad thing about it that it's not like really it doesn't really have a form if you know what i mean like lately it's been like really uh, in to like you know have a belt on your ski jacket but this one is like kind of straight but yeah i think it's more of a sportier vibe it's really like very classy and preppy but i st still think it's a very nice jacket it's super warm really great for skiing sportier option if you could say that <laughs> And I think this will also look really cute with the pink pants. It's kind of like matchy. And then I also have, you know, the black pants. So I don't know which one I'm going to wear. But like for the underneath it, I will probably wear, I will probably just wear like this white sweater so that it complements it more. <laughs> I'm not going to wear this bright orange one. Although it kind of matches. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, this is the jacket. And then I also have another jacket with this, which is kind of more preppy if you would say that this jacket and it also comes with a belt but it's downstairs Maybe i'll get it for you guys in a second yeah it's definitely more preppy it's also with a belt in your waist and i think this would look super cute with that white hat i will show you guys like how cute is that with this scarf yeah, I already can like envision the pictures in the snow, super cute. For socks, I think you definitely need a pair for every day. Uh, and if you have more, definitely take more. I have these long ones actually, these ones. They're a bit more pricier, but it's definitely worth it because when your feet are wet, cold, and then you will just get sick. So definitely take a nice pair of ski socks. Even if you don't want to buy socks for every day, you can do it. For example, if you're going for seven days, you can buy three pairs of socks or four, and then you can wash them and let them dry, and then you can wear them again, so that you don't need to buy too many of them, because it's expensive. I think they were like 10 euros or something for a pair, so that's also something that you can do as well. I also have these thermical leggings. It's like really soft material and it also keeps you warm. I have this and then I'm also going to take like two pairs of sport leggings because I only have one thermical one, but I think that will be enough to keep me warm. I'm also thinking about like taking a few nicer outfits. Maybe we're going out for dinner or something and I don't want to wear my ski pants. Then I think I'm going to take this dress for example. It's a very elegant dress. And I also found the solution to not have it cold. You probably saw this already on social media. Like this, it looks like normal kind of nylon socks, but actually they have this like warm fuzzy fabric inside of it. And it's super warm. It feels like you're wearing pants. And this is also really great to take with you if you maybe want to wear a skirt or a nice dress. I think I'm also going to take this dress. I think this is a very elegant dress. Like it really shows your figure. I'm going to take this one as well. And then maybe also this black 
like turtleneck dress is also really nice yeah i think i'm going to take three dresses just in case of course also key hand gloves and also these ones these are softer ones and i think that is everything for the thing that i'm going to take clothes wise now i need to see if i'm going to get all this stuff in my bag because now this is the situation right now so we'll see how that goes i'm going in like two days so i'm going to pack it but also like i still can change up things i'm also thinking about taking this one and then i will just wash later today so that i can take it on my trip Okay, I'm going to try to fit some things in here and see how that goes. Otherwise, I will just pack it like I normally do. But I just want to like try out how it is to put it in here. I'm going to put all my socks in here. In the second packing cube, I just put all my socks in it, also some fuzzy socks, the ski socks, and then also underwear as well, and some nylon socks, and yeah, it all fits in here, it's really handy actually. This is the situation right now, and I still have a lot of space, which is very good, because I still need to pack those two pants. I also want to take that orange dress and the orange sweater as well, and also my accessories as well and also my makeup bag okay i think it's gonna be maybe a little tight but we'll see <laughs> These are also the pyjamas that I am going to take, I forgot to show you guys. My luggage is actually almost full, luckily I'm also going to take a backpack as well and I think I'm going to put my makeup in there because we're just going with the car, I just can take it in my backpack. I also made a little playlist that you guys can check out uh, for the ski trip if you're maybe also going by car or on the plane and you want to listen some music i'm now kind of looking into the accessories i will show you guys so for like sunglasses i have a few options i have these ones <laughs> they are a bit extra i have also these ones i have also these ones then i also found these like vintage ones from my mom it's kind of a vibe not gonna lie these ones and these are more like quality glasses to protect your eyes i'm most definitely going to take these ones another pair of like more extra glasses i'm going to take these ones also these maybe also one of these two i'm still contemplating we'll see i'm only going to take my slippers <laughs> these are super cute my mom got these for me for christmas so definitely taking them and for like things to do you know when you have like kind of some alone time or maybe when you're in the car i have two books from which i want to decide my mom got me this book for christmas i actually don't know what it's about it's quite random she just took a book out of the bookstore and then also recently i actually bought murder on the orient express i know this is like a classic and that's why I really wanted to read it. I've been really, like really into thrillers recently. Just books that really keep you hooked. I also really loved this book. If you are like looking for a book that you want to read, I highly recommend this book. It's also been like out for quite a while, but it's such a good book. I read this on vacation and I read it in like four days. I just couldn't stop reading it. For games, I have this game called Shit Happens. It's a really funny game. You're with a group of friends. And then I'm also just going to take this classic Uno. It's always fun to play. Everyone knows how to play it. That's it for like fun activity things. As in other accessories, I think I'm just going to take my Fitbit and then the jewelry that i already wear but i'm not going to take too many extra things you probably won't see it when i'm skiing like accessories from jewelry i'm just going to wear what i usually wear it will just be like my beanie and that fluffy hat and also the sunglasses it will just be enough for accessories 
Hi guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I'm in the hotel. Very exciting. I hope that you guys liked this video, that you found it helpful. Maybe you're going on a ski trip as well. Comment down below what you're doing in your finals break. Maybe you're just taking some time for yourself or maybe you're going on a trip. So that was it for today's video. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!